Hello everyone, welcome to the new devlog series for Head Wizard. Today I wanted to show you the progress I've been making on the new game. For those of you unfamiliar with Head Wizard, it's about a wizard that can throw his head onto enemies and objects and then switch places with them. Up till now I've mostly been working on the aesthetic and the movement mechanics. As you can see, Head Wizard has had a makeover. Uh, first I changed the sprite to a simpler one and then I had the idea of adding lighting to the characters and objects. In my opinion it looks pretty cool, uh, it adds a lot of mysterious noir vibe to the game. The way I created the lighting on the characters and objects is with a program called Sprite Lamp. Sprite Lamp is a program which allows you to create normal maps from uh, different sprite sheets. So you have to create a sprite sheet with lighting from the left, uh, top, right, bottom and front. And after that you can import them into Sprite Lamp and export a normal map. The cool thing about doing lighting this way is that you can have different colored lights falling on the characters and objects. So you can think of stuff like having a window that lets through some yellow light or having an exit sign which emits some green light. Um, and you can also think of stuff like having a, maybe a sinister part of town with a red uh, sky. All of these things suddenly become possible because of the lighting being dynamic. I also added some post-processing effects. Uh, one of them is Bloom. Bloom uh, gives the windows more of a lighty feel, but it also works quite nicely with the teleporting uh, poof effect. And besides the bloom effect, I also added some grain. This really helps to give the game more of an old movie feeling, like you're in a noir movie. Besides all the effects, I've also been working on the sprites themselves. Um, they have a little bit more detail now than they used to have. This is mainly because of the lighting, but also because they're a little bit bigger. I also improved the animations of Head Wizard a little bit. Mainly when he jumps and lands, he has a landing animation now. But it's not finished yet, so I'll still be adding and tweaking a little bit more. And that about wraps up the video. I hope you liked it. Please leave a like if you did. Um, and feel free to ask any questions in the comment section below. And if you want to stay updated on the progress of Head Wizard, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. For now, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.